I was talking to Tim here because he interviewed a guy named Marcus Hollingshead who made a device that had a uh, uh, pairs of interlocking rings, it had three pairs, one on the X, one on the Z, and one on the Y. Uh, so all the rings were interlocked around a central point, and he had uh, um, wires wound like electromagnets, and the rings would spin, and it was an anti gravity device um, that would create a force field around it. And I've created what I think is kind of like a different version, um, but instead of having electromagnets, it has a permanent magnets. Uh, just a regular, um, you know, iron magnets that you get at Radio Shack, and uh, it's it's instead of having uh, a total of six rings, I just have two uh, rings, but they're they're not actually rings; they're uh, spokes that have uh, teeth coming down that hold uh, magnets. There's there's and there's six magnets on this wheel, and there's six magnets on this wheel, and then they're held in the same plane so that they rotate through each other. So you have all these magnets moving through each other's pads and they're uh, in the same plane, creating the image of two um, circulating, you know, magnetic like uh, circuits. The first device I built, um, it had a little bit of, of uh, flexibility, like it was all made out of wood, because um, the two wheels are connected so that when one wheel spins, the other one has to spin. But there was a little bit of uh, flexibility in the systems where when once one wheel would turn, it would take a little bit of time for the um, energy to move through the system for the other wheel to turn. And so it was like what I call like semi-synchronous. Okay. And it went into like a galloping motion, like I sped it up by hand, and it seemed that it was actually accelerating on its own, like working as a, uh, as a magnetic motor, as a perpetual motion machine, which I designed it for. Um, yeah, but okay. it was so wobbly that it ended up two magnets smashed into each other and it broke. Now you you mentioned the device actually self-spinning, right? You, you right, right. It. Yes, on that. Uh, yes, on the very first test that I did, uh, it, it it did that. But it was, like I said, it was so uh, sort of wobbly or whatever you want to call it that it just couldn't take the acceleration, and it just two of the magnets ended up clipping each other, and it just like oh, and smashed it apart. and broke. Yeah, so. Now, have, have you built a lot of stuff like this, or, or is... Yeah, yeah, I've built uh, probably like about seven or half or so different, you know, iterations of it. I mean, I don't have one right now. They usually end up breaking, you know, when I play around with them. I just build them out of wood um, and, and wood glue and stuff. But yeah, yeah, I've, I've built it and tested it a bunch of different times. That's awesome. With some different things, with some different modifications to get different results. Do, do you have anything posted online for it, or...? Uh-huh, uh-huh, I do. I have a, I have a page on peswiki. dot uh, com. Oh, okay. So on Sterling site, then. Yeah, if you go yeah. Sterling site and you search for one divided by zero, you'll find it. That's the I, I developed all this from a theory about the number one divided by zero. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So there's kind of a geometry that goes into it, then. Right, right. It's just the it's just the um, geometry of two interlocking circles that that intersect each other to the correct degree. It's not the Vesica Pisces. Vesica Pisces, you have one circle going directly through the center of the other circle. Um, and that's actually just the first stage of drawing the flower of life, which you have to draw the whole flower of life to have like sort of an image of the universe. Okay. These interlocking circles, you don't need the whole flower of life. You just need two interlocking circles that are separated a little bit more. Because what it does is exemplifying um, the idea that male and female are 90 degrees face shifted to each other. Oh, okay, okay. Uh -huh. So, so this is really tied into sacred geometry, then. Definitely, yeah. It's, okay. It's, it's definitely a big, it's a big sacred geometry thing. That's awesome. But yeah, so the PS wiki and if people look for one divided by zero, they'll they'll be able to bring it up. Uh huh. Yes, that's right. Great. Right. <laughs>